Hi guys, welcome back to Color by Felix. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for your love and support. Thank you for the new followers and the new subscribers. I really appreciate your comments and on my videos. It really helps me as a new YouTuber to learn ways that I can improve on my side and as a teacher that would help you guys out. So thank you. I also want to give a big shout out to Jane. She goes by Painting with Jane. We did an awesome collaboration together and she decided to work with me. So that was an awesome giveaway that we're doing it. The winner will be announced on Sunday. So be sure to, to stick around, stay tuned and uh, all the best. Hope you guys win. So what I got here today is a 12 by 12 inch canvas and uh, we'll be focusing on how to paint trees today. I had many comments and people asking me how to how to make those and also how to blend colors. So I'll uh, give you all the material list and the uh, uh, paint materials in my description. And we'll bring the camera closer so you can see my the way I mix and how I get the background done. So let's get to it. Okay, let's go over the materials needed for today. Obviously you need a palette. You need a palette knife to mix your color in. I love this brush. This is a fluffy mop brush. It's a number eight. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's Concierge White Round Goat Mop. This is good for blending colors. We'll be using that today. Now, you need a set of Artist Love brushes. They're made by Necessities, the company, I believe, is Artist Loft. And uh, you'll need uh, number one, number 10, number six, number eight, different sizes, but these are good for bushes and uh, creating like a you know, bushy effect and you'll see how we'll use these ones. All right, and now you need this flat tip brush. It's very pointy and flat here. It's about like half an inch. Um, so this is good for hard edge, painting hard edge or detailed things like that. And I use this a lot to paint my stars to make uh, when I paint starry night skies. And uh, last but not least, a round, uh, round detailed brush. And this is a number zero. All these materials that I'm showing you, I will put on my detailed description so you'll uh, be able to see them. Now for paints, we need titanium white, golden. I, I like to use golden, they're my favorite. The colors are vibrant and I just love, I just love Golden. I tried to experiment with different colors, but golden by far are my favorite. Carbon black, ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, and naphthol red light. Again, I'll post these paints on my description so you guys can know what exactly I use. And I only use primary colors. I like to mix my own colors into the shades I want them. Also, I forgot you need a, any jar that holds water in where you can keep your brushes in from drying. Okay, so let's grab our ultramarine blue. And I'm again, I'm painting on a 12 by 12 inch canvas. You can have it any size you want. Um, so I, I usually start off here on the edge, this will be my, I, I start off with the darkest color and I put about maybe, you know, a little bigger than the thumb right there. And then uh, a little less and then a little less. So as you could see, more blue, a little less blue, very, just a little touch of blue. Okay our cadmium yellow. I don't mix it here, but I'll add a little bit here and add more here. So I'm kind of going the opposite. I'm adding more here, less here. Going from a lot of blue, going to small, going from a lot of yellow, going to small here. Now let's use titanium white. Okay, so I'm gonna add titanium white a little bit here, more here. I'll start mixing them and then um, and we'll see where how much I might need because I'm going to try to cover this whole canvas and I might need more paint 
to cover it. So I'm going to start by mixing with the darkest. So I'll mix these. I don't need to mix this one. I like the color the way it is. But I'll mix this one. Again, you don't have to spend too much time on mixing because you're going to be putting it on the canvas and mixing it with a fluffy brush anyway. So just get it to where it's one color and that's good right there. You can see it's, it's, it has like a shade of like a green in it. Let's mix this one. Next. Okay. There you go. You could see three different shades. Blue going into a shade, uh, lighter greenish color and then a light green color with a little bit of blue in there. I might need actually more of this color um, to cover this whole painting. So um, let's add more blue. So right there, added a little bit of more blue. Okay, right there. You can see my three different shades, right? Let's start putting some color here. We want to get a simple background so that we can focus on trees. So I'll, what I'll do is start from the darkest, go to the lightest. And what I and I'm using this uh, round white goat mop brush. And I'm getting it a little damp. So I touched it a little bit of water so it's damp. I'm going to start with the darkest, this blue. And I'm going to start adding it on my canvas here. Just add it everywhere, spread it everywhere doesn't have to be perfect just yet I'll put this down we're gonna make a simple starry night sky okay now I'm gonna grab my second color I'm using this swirl effect to blend my colors together. So, grabbing all of it. Okay, and my, for the final color, I'm gonna grab the last color here and mix it here. Don't worry about blending the colors perfectly just yet. Let's first put the colors down on the canvas and then we'll, I'll show you how to blend them in. You just want to cover the canvas first. Okay, so as you could see, I got my uh, colors there. So now, again, yours might turn out a little bit different, different shades of color. That's fine. There's never a mistake. Yours, yours could be different, and that's totally fine. We're just learning how to blend and uh, have fun. Okay, so I put down the colors. It's not perfectly blend yet, uh, blend in yet. So now I rinse off my um, my fluffy brush, and um, to save time, I have two of these. So I, I have it a little damp, but it's pretty clean. Um, and so, not too wet, you don't want it too wet. So now I'm gonna start from the lightest color and work my way up. So I'm gonna go like this. And lightly, I'm not pressing too hard, I'm lightly um, doing the circle, circular effect and lightly just swirling it from bottom to up. You know how you girls put the makeup on your face? Just like that. You, 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 don't, you don't, you know, you softly do it, you don't, you know, press on your face too hard I don't know anyway so yeah so I'm just kind of like having this swirl effect and as you could see it starts to blend in nicely and I'm going from light to dark remember how we started from going from dark to light now we're doing the opposite and I'm lightly pressing not too hard So now again, the reason why we want the brush not to be too wet is because 
when we blend is because if it's too wet, it starts to carry a lot of the paint away from the canvas and you don't want to do that. Um, so make sure it's, uh, and I use the uh, paper towel to kind of dry it out. Um, and the reason why we're going from light to, um, to dark is because um, you, you're, you're, you can carry the lights up, but if you start to carry the darts down, it'll, it'll, you know, neutralize it too much. And so, um, it's better to go from light to, um, dark. Also, sometimes these uh, fluffy brushes, they um, uh, have like ha the hairs fall out on the canvas and starts to stick. I had people asking me about that. What I do is usually I wait till it's completely dry and then I just go over and just kind of like clean it with my finger, like r rub it off. Um, and it comes out, it should come out without a problem. But if it's deep in there, um, I usually just let it be there or I use one of the detailed brushes and lightly just pick it out and then I softly go over it again. So now that we got the background done, let's add some stars. And I use this cup, it's from like a varnish uh, spray bottle, I took it out. You can have any cups, you can have a small cup, it doesn't matter. But we need a titanium white and I'm gonna just a little bit, just a little bit add white inside this little cup. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water in it. Maybe a couple tablespoons, I guess. And I'm gonna mix, I'm just gonna grab a, just a random brush. And uh, I'm gonna mix it in with my water. Just mix it in. Once I mixed it, I used this flat uh, detailed brush, this uh, flat uh, tip brush. And uh, I'm gonna just lightly Put my brush not all the way in but maybe about you know halfway in and I'm gonna use that for my stars and I'm just gonna start sprinkling it on my canvas now you don't want to sprinkle it like this you want to go downwards because if you sprinkle like this the water just goes down to your brush and it starts to get messy so make sure you're holding it like this and onto the canvas and you guide it where you want the stars to be. Now you can put as much stars as you want and I usually do this flat. I lay this flat and put a tarp around so I won't get um, uh, these uh, you know white paint on my wall but for you guys I'm you know doing this so you could be a better angle to see um, I'm doing this. Okay, so once you're done and once the, it's dry, sometimes you can use a hair blow dryer to make it dry faster, that's what I did. Um, I then go with my titanium white and the detailed round brush, number zero, and I grab a little bit of titanium white and I add a, I add a few just bigger stars so that you, you sometimes can see some stars out there in the sky are brighter and uh, look bigger. So now, once you have your stars where you want them, we'll uh, use the white titanium white, this uh, brush that we used to sprinkle the stars in. And we're gonna make our brush a little wet, not too wet, damp, grab some titanium white, flatten it out, and we're gonna draw a shooting star wherever you'd like it. Why don't we do it right here? You see how that's a little messy, so what I'll do is come back with a detailed brush and just touch it up. Grab some titanium white 
Again, you can go as detailed as you want with this. Okay, so now that we got our background done, the sky, now we can focus on painting some trees. And again, how I paint, I usually paint starting from the furthest point going to the closest. The furthest point in this image is the sky. And then I add layers and layers on top of layers. So now let's focus on trees. We need carbon black. Add about this much, not too much. And then again, add a little less than the first. We're gonna grab our cadmium yellow and a little bit up into this black one. A little more on this one. And a little bit of red here, not too much. Red is a strong color. And a little bit here, just like that. We're gonna grab titanium white. Gonna add it a little bit here, just a teeny bit. And a little more on this one. You don't need to clean your palette knife. It's totally up to you if you want to though. And let's mix them. And it's gonna give you like this dark brownish color, I guess. But your color can be, basically what we're doing is we're creating shades and um, we're, we're gonna, um, and why you could totally just use black and a little bit of green, but I like to add a little more um, color onto the trees to make them look um, uh, more alive, I guess. So it gave me this almost like a burnt umber color. Now I'm gonna mix my second colors. And that's gonna give me like a lighter, lighter um, brownish color. We're gonna make one more shade. Cadmium yellow, just a little bit right here. And grab some ultramarine blue and not too much, just about maybe about there. We have more yellow than blue. That'll give you a green, shade of green. You want, basically, you don't want it. It's okay if yours is a little lighter or darker, totally cool. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want three different shades, okay? Three different shades. Darker, a little lighter, and a green shade. Three different shades. Perfect. Now let's start off with drawing the the trees. Start off with the with getting just the tree trunks and stuff. So we're gonna use the darkest color. I made my brush a little wet, and I'm using this flat uh, flat brush right here. And I'm gonna start adding a tree. I'm gonna add it right here. Okay. Right there. See what I did there? I started lightly skinny on top and then a little thicker there. So you wanna do that, okay. And add one maybe right here next to it. And then maybe this one will be a little taller. Now I'm gonna grab the round detailed brush and I'm gonna make it a little wet, use the same color, darkest color. And let's just draw some branches. Okay, they don't have to be perfect. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm always like dabbing my brush into the water because that makes it uh, more smoother. Um, and it's really good for, I always do that for details when I whenever I uh, start to add details okay so I'm not 
worried about how perfect it is right now because most of these uh, branches will be covered by leaves and so don't worry about trying to make it perfect. That'll change. Just kind of draw it randomly on there. Goes a little bit this way. I got my sketch down. Now, I'm going to start adding some bushes and stuff on the leaves and stuff. So I'm going to grab the darkest color and grab this um, Artist Loft number one size. It's uh, about an inch wide. Very, And I'm working dry. I'm not adding water. And I'm just kind of tapping it on my uh, palette, grabbing a little bit of paint and black, tapping it so it could still be... Um, you know, it's dry and it gives this kind of, you can test it out on your palette. You see it, it gives like this bushy effect. That's what you want. Once you have that, you start not like this, but um, this way. And then you start from the tip and you just kind of follow these branches that you drew. And just remember the middle is going to be covered the most. So then just add onto these branches. And I'm kind of just lightly, li lightly dabbing it onto the canvas. I'm not using much pressure. You know. I'm going to leave it naked up here. here and then this one behind it okay so now See how I start? I first start from the tip, and we're gonna go back and add the and add more details on it, but lightly, lightly dab it on there. Not everywhere. Remember, you want to leave some um, some empty spaces because that'll make it look, you know, more like a tree. You want to follow the branches. And as you get closer down there, this brush and, and, uh, is a little too big, so I go down to uh, Artist Loft brush that is a number 10. It's the same, um, you know, same brush, but it's just smaller size. And then do the same thing. Follow the branches. You know what, maybe I'll add one more, one more here. Why not? Let's add one that is kind of going sideways up right here. Like that. And then the detail brush. Lightly dabbing it in. Once we're done with that color, we're going to go with the second lightest color. Use, again, you don't want to make, use these brushes and you want to work dry. And just add just on some areas, not everywhere. But on one side of the tree, we're going to 
and do the left side of the tree on this side. And we're gonna uh, maybe bring some up here. Maybe some branches stick out right here, so it's okay if there's lighter here. Um, and just some, not everywhere. This head as well. Maybe there's branches stick out here. Okay. And then on this side, you want to add it on the right side of the tree. Let's just pretend the light um, is coming from here. And it's hitting these side of the trees. Okay, so now that we got that color, let's add in the green color. Remember this, the lightest color we made with the same brush in one side of the tree. Just add it lightly, you know. It can go a little bit over here. Remember, some branches come out here, but you want to add it lightly on the one side of the tree. Dab it. And we're gonna, sometimes you need to go over with the darker one and fill in the areas if you use too much green. Now actually I'm gonna grab cadmium yellow. Cadmium yellow and just a touch of red. Just a touch, not too much. Like barely anything. We want to make it uh, kind of orange light. It'll still be yellow but um, we just want to, I'm not even grab, grabbing a lot of red, just a little bit, just so it can give me that orange um, look, but it's still pretty bright, okay, like this, and we're going to use the same brush, you don't need to clean it, same brush, and um, this time it's okay if you use um, this brush on all the trees and again add it on this side of the tree not everywhere this is the this is the fun part this is where you are getting the tree to pop out uh, the light hitting it so well that these trees start to pop out I'm going to use this detailed round zero number zero brush and then I'm going to go back up and start to draw a few branches. Okay, starting from the top, kind of like sticking out. Again, you can make it as detailed as you want. This is all up to you. So now we're going to grab titanium white and cadmium yellow and just mix those together. And we're going to create shadows on the tree. We're going to use this detailed brush and make sure your brush is wet. What I do is I swirl my detailed brush so that the tip can be straight. And then I just go back to this tree and add shadow.
I'm always dabbing my brush into the water so that it won't be too dry. And create little branches if you want on some areas. You don't have to do it everywhere. finale I'm gonna grab this and I cleaned my uh, fluffy brush and I'm gonna make my brush a little wet and just grab a little bit of just uh, cadmium yellow on my brush not a lot just uh, you know just a little bit and then I'm gonna create some light right here so I'm just gonna lightly throw some Sun on this area it's okay if you overlap these some of these trees I'm working transparent. Okay. See how that pops out? Now, you don't want to cover the whole area of the trees. Just get these areas. If you get a little bit of the tree, that's fine. I hope this helped a lot. I hope you guys will have fun painting this. I just made that up. I didn't really have a plan. So that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Um, I uh, Again, I encourage you to experiment and find your style. Continue to practice paint. Please let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to learn next, um, and what could help me as a teacher improve. I'm always ready to learn on my part okay guys here it is the finished painting I hope you guys learned a lot we got the background done and we got some trees done and the way I paint trees using the artist love brushes and the brushes I told you about please let me know down below what you guys think I hope you guys can learn a lot from this video I started posting every Thursday but uh, um, since this is not my full-time job I am going to start posting every other Thursday because it's a lot to do right now for me but hopefully in the future I can get back into posting every Thursday thanks again guys take care and God bless See you guys next time